I got a mailbag. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. This is a four keyboard module. I think this is a, that's just a button module. It's got four buttons on it and a breakout. So if you need buttons, you just plug it up. Something I don't have. I always wind up wiring something up every time I need buttons. So bought a couple of these. Uh, air pump. All right. Couldn't stop buying air pumps for this vacuum pickup. Try to find a good, some good low cost, good quality pumps. So I found this one. This is a USB. God, it smells. It's a USB aquarium pump. I don't know what the point of it is. Why you'd want a USB aquarium pump? It comes with an air stone and a hose. Thought I'd just check it. Oh, look at that. Not worth the four or five books I paid for it. That's for sure. Wow. Well, this is not a candidate. This is garbage. Very disappointed. Oh, jeez. Let's see if I can get the damn thing apart. Now, I figured this was just a standard two dollar pump that you could buy. So I thought I'd buy one and tear it down. And uh, I believe you can just buy these. Solder wire on, you're done. But uh, this was kind of a waste of money. <laughs> but um, for science, right? Interesting. Well, that was that. That's garbage. I saw people doing reviews, saying they were nice, using them for aquariums. I would not put this anywhere near an aquarium. Or if you're going to just buy nicer modules and make your own. Not, not, not pumps. Buy your own pump pieces. It's just a DC motor. All right, next five piece solar mounting. And I think I just bought these the other day. I did just buy these the other day. Just looking for some kind of metal clips. These are some kind of solar panel mounting clips, but I thought they might be handy for mounting uh, things like. Um, a screen or something like that. Yeah, see it's got these little barbs. It'll 
This would probably clip on there really well. I don't want to hurt myself, but um, yeah, that would clip on there, and then you can clip it onto another rail. So I was just looking for like little, little metal clips to clip uh, clip things onto metal uh, grates and uh, to clip on thermal couples to stuff, and couldn't find little metal clips, surprisingly. So I'll probably check those out. All right, next. AC DC converter. Uh, this is just a bridge rectifier on a PCB with a capacitor. And uh, I was really just going to build my own AC power indicator. And I saw these and I was like, oh, well, these are just perfect. I'll just throw these into my toolbox and I can use these when I need them hook them up to, you know, AC, and then you got your power signal, a DC signal out that you can use for, you know, something. Not a very, you know, you can't really power anything with it, but it's enough to light up an LED, and you could use it for something. So that was kind of cool, a little AC-DC rectifier module. It's just a PCB. You can build that yourself easily. All right, next, expansion board module. All right. I don't have, I was looking for a bunch of uh, AC rocker switches for maybe putting a power switch on my toaster oven to turn it on and off. These should be rated at 10 amps, 125, and they have a light. So these are kind of nice. So I just bought a couple of these. I probably have a, more coming too. Uh, the next trachea connection head. Okay. Oh, so these are um, I hate that they do this to these bags now. can't even use your bags anymore because they got stickers over them, all of them. They just started doing that. But these are weird. I've never seen a T connector that was like this. That just was very strange to me. So it seems to re be a reducer where it reduces the pressure evenly to the two of them. I don't know. I just I've never seen that kind before, so I thought I'd buy them. That's for, you know, I think a quarter inch air hose. Oh, this right here. Hmm. Interesting. Next, button module. Uh, this is more buttons. Oh, this is cool. This is a uh, I really can't find really good caps for these. I've been looking for caps. Well, oh, these don't feel too very good. Uh, I have one of these already. I was worried about finding a way to wire them up, so I just bought a module. Yeah, see these uh, yeah, kind of got a lot of play in them. This one, it's got a lot of play in it. That's interesting. Mm, I don't like that. I'm going to see if they make a, if there's better quality or if there's something wrong with this one. Or maybe it got busted in the package. But uh, it's awfully wobbly. See? But basically, it's a five-way. Button. Yeah, it wobbles all over the place. Huh, interesting. And then it's got two little buttons. Set, reset, 
the direction arrow. Well, that'd be cool. Design an inter some uh, interfaces around. Around that kind of a button. Five way navigation button. All right, next. RGB common anode. Uh, these are just some RGB LEDs. Uh, in fact, I already bought these and I bought them again. Oh well. Uh, just from having an RGB LED. That's not a <laughs> NeoPixel. All right, next. Uh, I don't know what this is. Print label. Huh, more buttons. Ooh, this is like a tiny little button. Four button module. It's got, uh, it looks like it's got pull ups on it. This is a single pin resistor ladder digital to analog converter. So you basically have four buttons and each one goes through a resistor ladder. Each one goes through one resistor of a resistor ladder and the analog value that comes out is let you determine which one was pressed. Uh, I don't know if this is a R2R or not. Yeah, I think it is. No. There's not enough um, resistors. Dun, 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 dun. Looks like, yeah, maybe. I thought there would be more resistors. One, two, three, four. They might just be uh, in parallel, so they just parallel up as you press them. In fact, I've already done that in a... Over modules already which is kind of similar this just has a breakout for the buttons and I built a resistor ladder here to use four buttons on one analog pin but this makes it a heck of a lot easier these are nice I'll buy more of these buttons are really small though Look at that. much smaller buttons wonder why they would make them so small it's almost the same size PCB so, a bunch of buttons, AC thing, some power switches, and this piece of junk. I guess I'll take it apart, see if I can reverse it, and make it a vacuum pump. We'll see. That's it for now. Till next time.